Smart tech and smart homes. There's three items every smart home should have or start with. First up is a smart speaker, so something like uh, an Echo. Second is smart lights, so something like these Philips Hughes, for example. And third are smart plugs. So let's get into that. Hi, welcome to Richman Poor Tech. For new viewers, this is Technology Channel, and this video is about smart plugs, and in particular, smart plugs from TP-Link. Smart plugs are a great addition and can be used to control various non-smart devices, from Christmas tree lights to coffee machines, from electrical heaters to making sure you've turned off those hair straighteners. Did you hear me, Susan? You can also use them to control non-smart devices to suit lower energy tariffs or to turn off after set time. Again, ideal for something like that pre-mentioned coffee percolator. There's lots of smart plugs out there from different manufacturers, including Philips Hue, Hive, Amazon, TP-Link, IKEA, and countless other Chinese manufacturers. The vast range can be a bit confusing and they're not all the same or the same quality. Now, one of my favorite smart plugs are these TP-Link. In case you don't know, TP-Link have been building network devices like routers, switches, modems, access points, etc. long before smart tech devices. And were one of the first when it came to smart plugs. Although a Chinese company, the build quality of TP-Link is more high-end than budget. So don't let the fact that it is a Chinese company put you off. They have a good quality control and good reputation to uphold. Now, as I mentioned, not all smart plugs are the same and not all smart plugs from TP-Link are the same either. With TP-Link, you don't need a hub, just an internet connection. Now, all these products have been purchased by myself and there's links in the description below to the current prices as always. So I have four to show you. Now these have British sockets, but they're also available with European and American sockets as well. Now the first pair and the second pair may at first glance look the same as each other, but they are in fact all different. First up is the original HS100, more of a simple smart plug. Next up is the HS110, the same as the first, but with the addition of energy monitoring. Third is the CASA KP115, again with energy monitoring. Now they also do it without energy monitoring called a KP105, and you can also buy it as a three socket power strip. And fourth up is the TAPO P110, also with energy monitoring. Again, they also do that as a P100 without energy monitoring. God, that was a bit of a tongue twister. Now the first two models and the second two models may look the same and the HS110 and the um, KP115 in the middle work the same. So apart from the aesthetics, what is the difference? Well, the first three use the CASA app and the last one works with the TAPO app and it's in the app where you see the main differences. Now obviously there is a difference between the energy monitoring versions and the non-monitoring versions but also in the app the information on the energy monitoring is also different. Before I get on to the differences and advantages please remember to like and subscribe and click on that bell for future video notifications. So what is the difference between the CASA and the TAPO versions? Now they both have current power consumption, total energy consumption for today and the past 30 days. But the CASA version also includes daily averages and a total consumption for the past seven days and daily averages as well as total consumption for the past 30 days. They also have runtime information and again the CASA versions have more. They both have current runtime and total runtime but the CASA also includes the daily averages runtime and total runtime for seven days as well as the daily average runtime and the total runtime for the last 30 days as already mentioned. They both have schedules, away mode, timer, scenes and smart actions. They both work with your voice assistants from Amazon Echo, better known as Alexa and Google's voice assistant, but not Apple's HomeKit at the time of filming. They also work with Samsung SmartThings, but at the time of filming, the CASA versions also work with If This Then That, which gives you even more smart functions. Although it does take more to set up, so if you're not that tech savvy, then this might not be an advantage for you. But basically, if you can, you use If This Then That to control the plugs, for example, if the temperature outside drops too low, or if you leave the house to turn off the plugs automatically. Talking of automations, you can also use the Alexa app to set schedules 
and set automations from that. Now all plug sockets also have a physical button on them to turn on or off. And the design of the newer CASA KP115 and TAPO are slimmer and a little smaller. They are more suited for UK style plugs where you can't fit the original HS110 and the HS100 next to each other on a four socket extension bar for example, you can with the CASA KP115 and the TAPO P100, so ideal for your Christmas lights. But just to note, when you do this, you won't be able to use the physical button on the side to control them. Now you can obviously use your voice assistant or your smartphone app, and you can also use a smart plug to control all the sockets extensions at the same time if you wish. So, do I recommend them? Yes. But which one do I recommend? Well, in case you haven't guessed already, with the more information and the functions from the CASA app, it's the TP-Link CASA KP115. So thanks for watching.